What I've got here is the first run of the new Battlefront Plastic Infantry. So if I pop it open, like so, we've got three plastic sprues. So two of these are the same, and one of these is a command and special weapon sprue. So I'm going to zoom in incredibly close, like so. So, that gives you an idea of the sort of models that we're dealing with. They are 15mm scale. They're also soft plastic, which means we've got some gun bends. So, bend it back. No, nope, I'm going to need to get some boiling water and dip some of these models in the boiling water in order to get them to straighten their guns. What I will do is let's have a look at some of these. In particular they've got a little bit of plastic flash around the edges. Now because these are soft plastic you can't scrape them. If you do try scraping them then Basically, nothing much will happen. Now I'm getting a little bit off there. So, what I've done is I've bought an X-Acto knife, which is pretty much as sharp as it could possibly get, and I'm going to use it to clean the flash off some of these models. What I'll do is I will pick a few and I will clean the flash off them so that I can show you them very close. As you can see I've used the craft knife to clean up all the mould lines and I've test fitted them in a base. There's enough in the pack to do a full platoon of six bases and the two bases for the uh, company command. But having done this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some super glue. You'll note that I've even cleaned off the bottom of the base. And I just pop him in there. So, pluses to the sculpts and the material. not that bad. You will also get a lot less breakages using this than you will using metal. Because at 15mm it means you've got to sculpt gigantic weapons so they're thick enough not to break straight away or you end up with a lot of breakages. So that's those stuck down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take as you saw in the tank facing video, I'm going to grab some rocks because it's normal to have some rocks in the desert. So I'm going to glue some rocks down. Turn the base around. So, in a minute, when the super glue is dry, I'm going to take some PVA and I'm going to put sand on the base. My initial impressions of the kit. You will probably spend two minutes cleaning each model. I did. You may need at the beginning to go through, get some hot water, and correct the bends. And it's time to give the model some facing. 
So PVA goes on ever so easy. If you get a little bit going on the beveled edges, don't worry too much. What you've got to worry about is getting them all the way up the legs of one of them on, the, on one of the models. Again, it's an opportunity to fill in the gaps in the basing by putting PVA in that gap because that will then get covered by sand. So, into the sand it goes, while that's happening, PVA goes on the smaller base, because if I'm going to do both, I may as well do both. Normally you'd leave it to dry a little longer before you add PVA, but yeah, in fact in future I'll make sure to do so. So as you can see what's happened is I've missed a little bit. PVA in there. So, what then happens is I've got a couple of based elements that look okay. What I'll do is I'll let them dry and then I'll hit them with an undercoat of Deutsch Africa Core tomorrow. I'd leave the PVA to dry for several hours. Uh, unlike with hard plastic models, I wouldn't put it next to a light source to dry out the glue because there's the danger of it causing the models to bend. Similarly, I wouldn't leave these in direct sunlight or anywhere where it's going to get too hot because they are thermo softening. Looking at the other contents of the box, you've got this instruction booklet Let's zoom out again a little bit, which the cards come wrapped in, uh, and it gives you an idea of how to assemble the models. So you can see this Bren gun team here, you can see the commander and unit leader here, and you can see the special weapons teams here. So, But you've then got the cards, you've got the Motor Company HQ card and you've got the motor platoon card both of which come with stats so the motor platoon will consist of either three or four Bren gun teams and an anti-tank rifle and two inch mortar the motor company HQ consists of two bases with which are just three man fire teams so you can make both you can make a full size motor platoon unit because you can Take a reduced size one with one less Bren gun team, but you can t make a full size motor platoon unit for eight points and a motor company HQ for two points. So each blister could potentially give you ten points of models. That's a good thing. You've got the movement orders reference sheet, and then you've got the 7th Armoured Division formation card. So it goes through what's in the 7th Armoured Division. You've got to take at least one formation out of Grants, Crusaders, Honeys or Motor Company. And the Motor Company formation, which is on the Motor Company HQ card, has to have a HQ, a Motor Platoon, but also a Universal Carrier Platoon and a Six Pounder Anti-Tank Gun Platoon. The issue with that is that you've got to buy at least three boxes of stuff. The Universal Carrier Platoon is like a 30 quid box with eight Bren gun carriers in. 
the anti-tank platoon, you can swap the second most platoon for another anti-tank platoon. That's okay. Um, but you're still going to have to buy another box set with six pounder anti-tank guns in. So you'll end up with a formation that will cost probably at least 20 points. And you'll have to buy three different sets for it. Whereas with things like the uh, Grant or Honey or Crusader formations, you just buy in one box. But it's got the unit cards in, which is an entirely good thing. And it's got all the unit cards that you could need to field these guys. My verdict? It's interesting to see people using soft plastic in 15mm scale for infantry. I was really worried they were going to be terrible, but they're not. The biggest criticism on the sculpting is the faces, but can you make the faces out at this distance? No. And that's less than two feet. Across the table you were just not going to be able to see it. You'll see the guns, you'll see the helmets, but the faces will not be too detailed. And even so, they've just got to be the right colour and you've got to hit them with an ink wash to bring out the sculpting that is there. So I'm going to spray these with Deutsche Africa Core tomorrow. I'll probably then just hit them with the basic colours and an ink wash and see how it looks. So I'll come back with a painting video. My verdict is for the price that it's worth it, because this is £6 for a platoon. For playing Blitzkrieg Commander 3, which is what I've got this for, it will give me four infantry elements and two support elements, which adds up to probably about 180 points. For playing Flames of War, I bought two of these platoons anyway, but you'll end up with enough stuff, basically, to have infantry formations. The only issue with Flames of War is that you've got to buy the support elements. It isn't like Blitzkrieg Commander, where you have a choice. You've got to go out and buy six pounder anti-tank guns and Bren gun carriers, because they're a compulsory unit in the formation. You can't just take troops to hold objectives, uh, unless you're using a different formation to motor platoon. But, my verdict, they're okay. Uh, for the price, they're pretty good, because it's six pounds for 10 points of stuff for Flames of War. I can see exactly why they've used soft plastic, because hard plastic or metal, you will get a whole bunch of models broken at the ankles. Uh, the issue with soft plastic is the mould lines. You saw me cleaning them off these two and exactly how long it took. But yeah, I'd say the purchase is worth it. I'll be interested to see them do the, the uh, Africa core and I'll get at least one blister of that, even though I've got two sets of metal. But yeah, they're decent. They're worth six quid. That'd be my point of view. Uh, I'll come back with a painting video to show you how they take paint, but they're all right. If you've liked this video, hit like or subscribe. Uh, if you want to chat about this, leave a comment below. Thanks for your time.